Druids have some amazing looking bear, cat and travel forms coming in the patch for you to collect and unlock. And in this video, I wanted to run through where to find those forms and how to unlock them so you're ready to go once the patch is here. Before we get started, I did want to give a shout out to Adam and the other people who contributed via the secret finding discord for finding out all this information. Especially Adam put together a spreadsheet running through all the information and figured out some of the steps required for some of these forms as well. Let's start things off with talking about the forms that are going to drop from rare spawns within the Emerald Dream. All of these you're only going to be able to kill once per day per character for a chance at it. And the drop chance does seem to be pretty low. I killed all of these about seven or eight times each and I only had one form drop. So either I'm unlucky or the drop chance is on the lower end. In terms of respawn time, most of these are going to be on the longer end. It took around one to two hours for most of them to respawn again. So when the content is fresh, do make use of the looking for group tool to find these easier. So the first form we'll talk about is the Black Umbra Claw, and that's going to drop from Mosa Umbra Main, which is found in the Meandering Rootlands. And even though the rare itself is a purplish color, the form it drops unfortunately is a black color, and there's not going to be any source currently for the purple variation. The next drop will be the Green Bristle Bruin, and this is going to drop from a rare spawn called Marag the Slothful, which we'll find in a cave within Wallwing Basin. The cave isn't too far from where the rare actually is. You'll just head underground, it's going to be like a burrow. You'll head in there and you'll find the rare. The next form is going to be for Feral, and that will be the Purple Dream Saber, and that is going to drop from a rare spawn called Keen Eyed Keen, which we'll find within the Verdissant Thicket. This was probably the rare that I saw the least whenever I was trying to find it, it was just not there. So it's either got a much longer respawn or I was just unlucky and it had been killed recently every time I was checking. Next up, we'll have a few travel forms that will drop from rares. The first one being the purple and black Dream Talon, and that is going to drop from a rare spawn called Rista the Rabbit, who we'll find within the Verdissant Thicket as well within a cave. And this one did seem to spawn a bit quicker than the rest. I'd probably see this every like 30 to 40 minutes. So this should be an easier one to kill every day. Next up, we'll have the green and red dream talent, which is going to drop from a rare called Matriarch Kiva. And we'll find them south of the zone, kind of just south of where the super bloom event ends within a cave. Go there and kill them. Next, we'll have a dream stag, which will be the Ashes Glade Heart. And this is going to drop from a rare spawn called Talphone Ash Whisper. Now, I was only actually able to kill this rare twice. And that was because I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how it spawns. It's not just going to appear and be there ready for you to kill like normal rares. Instead, it is going to have criteria to spawn. And that criteria I have not fully figured out yet, but I have the rough direction at least. So it gives you an idea of what to be doing. So the rough direction for how this works is, first of all, I had this flame seed buff active, which you'll find these kind of fire orbs around in multiple areas. You click it, you'll get a buff for eight minutes. I don't know if this is coincidental, but I've tried killing these mobs before without the buff and I was farming them for probably an hour and didn't get a spawn. And with this buff active, I'd get a spawn within kind of 15 to 20 minutes. So who knows if it's just coincidence. It's worth picking up the buff anyway, because it does cause you to do extra damage. So no reason to not have it on. Next up, I was killing the Primalist mobs and also the Druids of the Flame mobs that can be found within the Fields of Reverie. And eventually a bit of text would pop up when I killed it that said, I will be avenged. And then a few seconds later, the rare would appear. Now I did see it appear once as well, and it just instantly despawned too. So I assumed it just kind of picked somewhere a bit buggy and despawned. And currently, this rare has been confirmed to spawn in two areas, which I'll be showing you now, but I have a feeling it can spawn in most areas that have the Druids of the Flame and the Primalist mobs in them. It's just going to be a case of killing enough mobs to actually get it to spawn. But the good news is this Fields of Reverie area is where most players will start their kind of journey into the Emerald Dream. So there's going to be a ton of players killing these mobs early, so you should just be able to wait around here and get a spawn pretty quickly. The final rare drop to talk about will be the Yellow Rune Bear, which looks really good. Unfortunately, though, I have some bad news. This is going to drop from the world boss, Arustor the Hibernator, which means you're only going to be able to kill it once per week per character. And we haven't been able to kill this world boss properly yet, so no idea how much of a drop rate this is going to have. Hopefully it's high, but it is a really good looking unique form, so I have a feeling the drop chance might be lower for that. We are quickly approaching 90,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So when we hit that benchmark, I will be giving away three store mounts for EU or NA, any mount of your choice from that store. So do make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Next up, we're going to talk about the forms that will come from the zone and meeting certain criteria within the zone. The first of those we're going to talk about will be from this silent mark item. It's going to be an item you can pick up from an NPC called Groveheart, who will find within the wild and garden, kind of way off on the north of the zone. And you'll be able to pick these up for 500 gold each, so relatively cheap. And what you need to do with these items is find the related mobs and kind of like use the item on them. And you'll kind of like scan them. 
and when you've scanned enough of these mobs you'll get the form so it's pretty easy it'll take you a few minutes once you're in the right locations and then you'll get a form pretty quick the first silent mark form we can get is the brown umber claw and that requires you to scan umber claw mobs the best area for this is going to be within the wall wing basin bottom left of the zone there's going to be a bunch of umber claws around here you'll just run around use the item on them they will have a debuff on them which prevents you from scanning the same mob again for five minutes so once you've done one you'll just move on to the next and keep repeating that until you do receive the form it'll just be a new item in your bag once you've done it it didn't take long i think it took about 10 to 15 of these mobs to be scanned for the item to pop up so you shouldn't be here for too long the next one will be the green dream saber and for this i'd recommend an area over in the top right of the zone which will be the miranda and brute lands and here we'll find a bunch of these verdant dream sabers this is a quest hub area so you could even kill them all once you've scanned them and they should respawn pretty quick but there's an area towards the top and then if you head down kind of the path to the right hand side there should be another group between these two areas you should have enough but once again if you don't just kill them off and they respawn pretty quick here anyway the next one will be the white and green dream talon and for this i'd recommend the area south of the zone kind of where the super bloom ends there's going to be a bunch of dream talons here kind of spread around the area so just run around marking those and you'll get your form pretty quick the final one of the silent mark forms is going to be the green glade heart and for this i'd just go north of a major so literally leave the main camp and you should see a bunch of stream stags around this area run around marking them and you'll get your form the next zone related form is going to be the ash bristle baroon and this is going to be very easy on the right side of the zone you'll find the char area and there's literally just going to be an item on the ground here that you can loot once you loot it you'll use the item and and you'll get your form easy as that the next form to talk about will be the slumbrim somnowl and this is going to require you to go through a couple of steps but they're relatively straightforward first of all what you'll need to do is find these somnowls and hibernate them when you hibernate them you'll be able to loot feathers from them and we need to loot five feathers the area i'd recommend for this is just a little bit north of the wall wing basin There'll be a bunch of them here just kind of on the ground you'll hibernate them and you'll be able to loot them not all the somnals in the zone will be hibernatable and like lootable but these ones are all completely fine so i'd recommend this area once you've gotten your five feathers next up you'll need to get some silken thread which is an older kind of crafting mat so you can head to like stormwind or grima speak to your trade good vendors and they should sell you that item you'll combine that with the five feathers and then you'll get a new item and now we need to combine this new item with a rank three ruined rife bag so you should be able to purchase that off the auction house or craft it yourself and combine that with this new item and you will finally get your form the next form will be the reward from one of these side quest chains which will be the azure somnowl and the side quest chain that we want we can pick up from Sonaris, which will be the konzu Quira. you'll go through that quest chain it doesn't take long at all and it's very straightforward the last quest of the chain being the answers you've earned you'll complete the criteria you'll hand it in and you'll get the feather of friends which will give you the form and you'll also get a bunch of rep too so definitely worthwhile doing the next form is going to have you doing quite a bit of running around and that is the blue dream saber the first step for this is we need to get our hands on a small box of vials which we'll find near the eye of Ajara in the zone there'll be kind of like this bench and some vials around and you'll find the box there you click it you'll get an item you'll open that and that will give you a bunch of vials in your bags these vials are going to be marked with a letter and each of the letters corresponds to a kind of main continent so the k being kalimdor the b being the broken isles etc so the first one up is going to be in moonglade within kalimdor so i use the druid teleport to get to moonglade and you'll find the pool on the right side of this area you'll go and fill it up and that will be vial number one the next one will be in valshara very close to the druid order hall so you'll go there you'll head to the moon well here you'll fill up your vial and then you can take the portal back to dalaran which will give us access to the other ones quite easy the next one is going to be in Storm Shield in Ashran, and it's going to be on the Alliance side of the zone. So if you're you're going to have to fly over to the Alliance side. It's going to be kind of near the water on the edge, and you'll fill up your vial in the Moon Well here. And then you can go back to your base and take the portal back to Orgrimmar or Stormwind. The next one up is in Tarakar Forest at Scenarian Thicket. So you'll take the teleport to Shatraf. You'll fly over there. It's pretty close by in Tarakar Forest, and you'll fill up your Moon Well in the pool here, where there's unfortunately a dead druid in there too. From here I flew back to Shratraf and took the portal back to Orgrimmar or Stormwind and then I headed over to Duskwood which is going to be the next one in the Twilight Grove and you can fly there as Horde obviously it's going to be a little bit more of a pain for you to get there but if your druid still has access to the, I think the Fralmar NPC within the portal room that should take you to Blasted Lands and you can probably fly from there probably a quicker way of doing it either way you make your way to Duskwood go to the Twilight Grove and fill up your vial in the moon well to kind of the right side of the portal and then the final one we're going to go for is in Dragonblight at Star's Rest so once again the 
Alliance base there. You're going to have to fly all the way down to Dragonblight, fill up your vial, and then that will be all of them done. Now that we have all the vials filled, the next step is to head back to the Emerald Dream. And just kind of southwest of Amidrasil, you'll find some Dream Sabers. And what we're looking for is a Feral Dream Stone. It's going to be in the same place on the floor, exactly where I'm showing you now. It can be a little bit difficult to look for if you're kind of not sure what you're looking for. It's literally just a bit of rock on the ground, on the grass. So once you're there, you'll combine your vials together, you'll get a new item, and now you'll use it on this barrel moonstone or dreamstone. And now the dreamstone will be lootable. And once you loot it, that'll be the form to use that item. Now you'll have the blue dream saber form. The next forms to talk about are all going to come from this new gameplay system called the Emerald Bounties. This system is essentially you'll get seeds from various sources of gameplay in the Emerald Dream. You'll plant it, you'll nourish it a little bit, and then after a few minutes, you'll be able to loot it. And once you loot it, you'll have a chance of receiving these forms. There's going to be three different types types of seeds, a green seed, a blue plump seed, and a purple gigantic seed. Unfortunately, these forms can only come from the gigantic seed. Gigantic seeds are going to come from various sources throughout the week, such as one-time treasures, or there'll also be a kind of materials hand-in that you can do that'll get you a seed, or there's going to be the super bloom that can drop them as well. So there'll be a few sources, you should be expecting kind of like four or five per week, so you'll have a few chances every week. Also, once you reach Renown 20, you'll be able to purchase these seeds for 1,500 resources. The forms that you can get from this system will be the White Umbra Claw, the Purple Slash Blue Dream Talon, and the Blue Dream Talon. However, these forms are also purchasable from a vendor in the main camp for one seed bloom each. The problem is, since they reworked seed bloom, we've not had a single one confirmed to drop from any source throughout the Emerald Dream. And this is as of one and a half weeks from the patch going live. So hopefully it is fixed for live and the seed blooms, you know, once again exist and we can obtain them once more but right now we don't know how they're meant to be obtained but it's a good guess that they're going to be tied into the emerald bounty system or the super bloom in one way shape or form there is going to be one more form available as well from the emerald bounties and that will be the golden glade heart however you're not going to get the form directly instead you'll get the recipe to craft this and this is going to be an inscription recipe as of current the form isn't able to be sold it is not boe it is bop and it is not on the work order station either i don't know if they're going to change that but as things stand, if you're not inscription, you will not be able to get this form. If you are inscription, however, and you are looking to craft this form, then so far it has been confirmed to drop from the plump seeds, which is the blue quality, and the gigantic seeds, which is the purple quality. Once you get it, you'll learn the recipe, and it's quite straightforward to craft to a degree at least. It's going to take five glittering parchments, it's going to take one uric fleece, which is an item that can be obtained from skinning speciality using the elusive bait within the forbidden reach. You'll spawn a rare and you'll have a chance of getting the item. It is purchasable on the auction house as well and if you're quick or get it at the right time you'll probably get it for a few thousand gold but I think once the patch launches this may skyrocket in price so if you do see it for a reasonable price before the patch goes live it may be worth picking one up and then the other item you'll need is four burnished ink which once again isn't too bad once you have all those items you'll just do it as a normal craft at your inscription bench and you'll get the form just learn it and there you go the final forms to talk about are all going to come from the Amidrasil the dreams hope raid and one of those is going to be a moonkin form everything else for moonkins you're going to get by default you'll just be able to go to the barber and you'll have a ton of new customization options but if you do want this red skin for moonkin then you will need to do the raid to get it to obtain it all you need to do is kill tandril sage swift we're not too sure what difficulties can drop it currently but you'll kill it on some kind of difficulty and you'll have a chance of obtaining that skin the next one to talk about is going to be the flight form a new Relas flames guidance and it's going to be this really good looking firebird form unfortunately though it is going to drop from mythic firak now it should be a hundred percent drop chance because it's going to come from obtaining the reins of a new Veloss, which means you get need to get the mount. Once you get the mount, you will get the form. However, though, for a lot of players, you're just not going to have access to Mythic. And even if you wait till next expansion, they'll probably reduce the drop rate down to 1%. So if you do want this form, probably going to be quite difficult for a lot of people. The final form to talk about will be the Dreaming Nadra, which is going to be this fish form. Looks exactly the same as the six month flying mount, except this isn't going to be a flying mount at all. It's just going to be an aquatic form. So if you do want this, you're going to have to head inside the raid and and we'll need to do some fishing. First of all, you're going to have to go over to the pit of Volcaros and you'll fish in that lava pool and you want to fish up 10 awakened sunfish. Then you'll head over to the Wellspring Atrium's water and you'll fish up 10 slumbering moonfish. Once you've got the fish, you're going to toss them back into the waters and you'll get an buff called the Attuned Angler, which will last 30 minutes. Once you've got that, we're going to head back to the beginning of the raid and you'll find the Wellspring of Atrium here. And now you should see a special pool called the Prismatic Whiskerfish Pool. So you'll fish in that. And now you'll get an item called Xena the Whimsy 
whimsical whisker fish. You'll throw that item back into the water once again, and now you'll get the scale of prismatic whisker fish, which once learned will give you that fish form. So that is how you're going to obtain all the new forms coming in 10.2. Hopefully you have some fun with this and good luck on your drops. Kind of jealous because druids just get a ton more content and the forms look great as well. So, you know, kind of jealous of that and it's kind of got me tempted to roll a feral for the patch, but we'll see. Outside of that, look out for more content coming soon. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.